When are y'all gonna learn to stop carrying y'all black ass down there to Africa? Thinking that y'all going home and that they just, you know, gonna open you up with open arms. Come to the motherland. Cause we are from Africa. That is our family. Y'all invited us to come home, which by the thousands we did. We came running to Ghana. People sold their homes, moved out of their apartments, sold everything. Some people packed up a container and moved over here just to get over here and realize this is not our home. shit y'all we are native to this land you don't know nobody from africa check this video out there are americans coming over here being nasty doing nasty things and being bad to the locals now let me flip the fucking script okay let's talk about the fact that we get abused over here too. Y'all invited us to come home, which by the thousands we did. We came running to Ghana. People sold their homes, moved out of their apartments, sold everything. Some people packed up uh, containers and moved over here just to get over here and realize this is not our home. Y'all call us foreigners. Ghanaians call us that. We didn't make that word up. We didn't start calling ourselves that. We don't know that that's what y'all call the white people and the Chinese because we're not around them. Now, let's hold it right there because I have a couple things to say. Foreigners, yes, the shock of being called foreigners in the mindset of like really thinking in your heart of hearts that, you know, I'm African-American. You know, my people are from the quote unquote motherland, right? Well, have you ever thought that maybe it was just a wee bit of a lie? A lot of things in history have been inverted. Most, the majority of all of them, everything in history, everything that you've been told is a lie and it has been programmed, installed into your brain backwards on purpose, not on accident, okay? So when you do encounter Africans and they treat you you know different sorts of ways or call you dumb or tell you that you don't know who you are they're kind of telling the truth on you not knowing who you are because they know that when they come over here they're not african-american they're being labeled as white it's a social thing and it's like everyone is in the know besides us quote quote unquote black folks We are foreigners to them. We are two different people, but we're also one and the same. This whole entire earth plane is, was, and will forever be populated with deeply dark, melanated people. We are the original people. We are the sun people, period. That's why I say that we're cousins. So we are connected in many different ways. But the region in which we were birthed in, that's what makes us completely different. Although the same, completely different. But we've been fed and spoon fed this damn lie since birth that you was a slave, your granddaddy was a slave, your great, 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 great grandmama was a slave. And you just got to deal with it. And it is what it is. African-American, take this label and, and whatever. We've been put into a freaking box. And everyone else sees it besides us. Even our fellow cousins over in Ghana slash Africa. At the end of the day, they look at you as a citizen of the United States. They look at you as a spoiled rich brat. When you come over there... 
They're going to rape you with money, baby. They want to rape your motherfucking pockets. Do you hear me, child? That's all you're worth over there. You are not family to them. You are different from them. Get it through your thick skull. We as American blacks are mixed race. That's what they call us in Ghana, Africa, you know, different places. I'm going to just say Africa. They call us mixed. Yeah, y'all, y'all are mixed. The mixed people. We're not like authentically black to them. We've been washed, our black has been washed away due to, you know, the United States being a melting pot and everyone's sleeping with everyone, you know. The bloods have been mixed in and for that I feel they don't have respect for us. That's one of the reasons why they don't have respect. Like how could you let those folks come over and do what they did to your land and your people? Like, I don't know. You know, they were colonized as well, but it just went a little bit differently. I don't know. There's a whole thing there. There's a whole thing. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this so far. But let's get back into this video. We know that that's what y'all call us. I, I ain't never heard the word before, Ty, because I came to Ghana. Okay. Y'all invite us home. Let's talk about what y'all do to us. Starting from the fucking air... No, before we get to the airport, we got to have a visa that we pay for to even enter our home. We pay all this money for passports and visas to get here. We get to the airport, and as soon as you see a fucking blue passport, everybody's coming for us. Can you give me something small, small at the COVID place? You get to immigration. Can you give me something small, small? You get to baggage. Can you give me something small, small? A person grabbed a damn cart and put my bag on it and got mad because I gave him five US dollars because I only had hundreds because you come over here with hundreds to get the best you know cash in rate how about he looked at that and said I don't want that I said what you mean you don't want it he said I said what did you I want to know what did you expect me to give you he said ten dollars I said so you want me to give you over a hundred CDs for picking up a bag putting it in a cart he don't know this is like my fifth time coming through the airport I have never seen nowhere in any country or state where people have diff openly, it says um, $60 for foreigners, $30 for locals, okay? I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> you go to Cocoon Park, and I don't remember the price. Let's say 200 for foreigners, because that's what y'all call us. Uh, 40 for locals you go to the castle it's 60 for foreigners 10 for locals you, i ain't never seen that nowhere i ain't never went nowhere in the u.s mexico and canada where it said you pay if you a local if you're from here you pay um three dollars for a coca-cola but if you're a foreigner you pay eight dollars for a coca-cola i ain't never seen that nowhere except ghana nobody in the airport has ever asked me for no money for nothing I have only seen that in Ghana. Now let's talk about the fact that y'all welcomed us home and how this process looks to me. According to y'all, the ones that, of us that were stolen, cause, so let's talk about the process of coming home. We got stolen from our mother, our birth mother and father. 20 years later, we're probably 26 years old now. Our mother finds us and she said, baby, y'all come home. I miss you, come back home. Get out them streets where they don't love you at and come home. So we drive, take a taxi, however we get to our mother's address, we get there. But before she let us come through the door, she says, oh, welcome home. But before you come in, can you pay me $300 to enter the door? That's the visa to come home. So, okay, we happy to be home. So we pay $300 to our mother to step foot in her house because we're excited to be home to the motherland, okay? We get in there and now it's dinner time. And she has plates on the table for the kids that grew up in the house. And she has a plate on the table for me and my sister who was stolen years ago. And she says, oh, my daughters, because you didn't grow up here, um, my children get to eat free that grew up here. But because you were stolen and you're just coming back, I have to charge you $20, $20 for a plate. So me and my sister, we're so happy to be home. We're confused. We pay her $20 for a plate. Okay. 
that's the cocoon shit. That's that's y'all giving us different prices for shit. Okay. Now we're at our mother's house and we're enjoying being there. We see something's a little weird, but we enjoy being back home with our mother. We decide we want to stay. And she goes, oh, you want to stay a little longer? You're going to have to pay me $1,000 every year to stay here. That's the residency. Now we're paying her for residency, even though she invited us home after we were stolen from her. Okay. Now we want to, we pay the residency and then we decide, you know what? We want to get on the birth certificate. We, we kind of like it here. It's a little weird, but we comfortable enough to stay here. And she tells us, oh, in order for you to stay here, I have to put you, put my name on your birth certificate. That's going to be a $3,000 each, please. And then I will put you your name on the birth certificate and you will become a family member. That's the citizenship. That's the citizenship. So how are we home if we got to pay you? Why aren't the why aren't the visas free if this is home? Why don't you make this visa free for us? If this is home, why do we have to pay to be a resident? If this is home, why isn't our citizenship automatically given to us?